I'd like to talk about the notion of on or off with tinnitus. It's very important to understand that when we're relaxed, everything can be clearly either on or off. And with a condition like tinnitus, which is both psychological and physiological, there's a nervous system reality and the way we react to it in our minds, they're hugely connected to each other. When we are feeling calm and well, everything can switch on or off really clearly. So a simple example is sleep. We can go through the day, work hard, be full of energy, refreshed, and then we go to bed and we switch off and sleep like a log. And then in the morning you wake up refreshed and you can go through your life being switched on and <laughs> switched off clearly. And when we're stressed, we can get into that horrible hinterland where we're exhausted in the daytime and we can't fully switch off at nighttime. We can't sleep deeply and refresh ourselves so that in the daytime, we don't really switch on fully and at nighttime, we don't switch off fully and we get into this really uncomfortable state. Our digestion does the same thing. If we're relaxed, we can eat and the sphincters can open and the food can be digested really well and then it, the waste products can be released out of the body. All the movements can open and close in the body but if we're stressed it's neither open nor closed that's in that horrible hinterland of struggle which is exhausting and the physiological functions of the body get really impaired. So what happens is with our mind when we're calm, relaxed and well we can have a really nice clear focus and we can listen to things and then ignore things. Our hearing can be tremendously focused and objective but if we become overwhelmed and all the stuff of our life builds up so that we have a really full quagmire or baggage following us around wherever we go, this can start to turn into quite an activated nervous system which starts to seep through into our conscious awareness. So the nervous system starts getting full of background buzz, stuff, unprocessed baggage, however way you want to see it, it's a build-up of stuff or activation. And so you don't get clear signals of listening to something or not listening to it, you just start to get a low background buzz of rubbish, which normally gets filtered out really clearly, but with stress, with exhaustion or with overwhelm, it builds up and we start to get swamped by this seepage of nervous stimuli coming through into our conscious minds. So it's really important to be able to practice very clear periods of the time when we're doing body-based focusing or we're doing yoga or we're working or we're listening to something, or we're resting well, one of the really useful qualities of being relaxed and being in a state of well-being is that we can be really focused and switched on when we want to be, and we can really switch off when we need to rest and recharge. And most people with tinnitus are flooded with too much stuff and instead of nice clear signals in the auditory pathways, the low level background hum starts to buzz into our awareness and we don't get any clear distractions onto it or away from it. So it's very, very important when we can focus our mind 
and we can have clarity and in therapy it doesn't matter if it's psychological talking therapies or hands-on relaxing therapies it's incredibly helpful to get help and somebody is there to look after us provide holding for us so that we can switch off much of the problem is that we, people can't let go they can't switch off this is a key point about tinnitus you're buzzing and you're listening to your nervous system so getting therapeutic support and help will enable you to switch off more and more clearly so that the holding that is provided enables you not to have a care in the world you don't have to listen out for danger anymore somebody is supporting you and you can literally switch off more and more deeply so I, this is why I think therapy is such a hugely important part of getting better with tinnitus.